Twenty seven minutes past seven here's Gary Richardson. Ah, this is Peter Wells for United Scotland. It's very early in the morning, on November the 30th, and we're going to visit as many picket lines as we can this morning in South Ayrshire. The schools in England expected to close, and tens of thousands of hospital appointments postponed. The government has condemned the union's decision to leave their members out while negotiations are continuing on the proposed changes to public sector pensions. Labour also says it doesn't support the strike. When is these BBC news? Some two million public sector workers across the UK are taking the part in the build as the biggest strike since the 1970s. I don't want the original industrial organiser for United Union in the South Yorkshire district. Hey, Raymond Kerr, Janet at Air Academy, a role within each, just an ordinary member. <laughs> Dougal what, Brown, what? Woda, <laughs> South Yorkshire <laughs> Council. <laughs> Alan Sheeran, the electrician. Graham Gunyan, semi school. Andy Rowley, engineer, Esther Central. Brian Stevenson, uh, South Ayrshire Council. I'm one of the shop stewards with South Ayrshire Council. Uh, and I think it's absolutely disgusting what this government is going to do with our pension scheme. All these years we've been paying into it and they've decided that they're going to cut our pension. Make us work longer, for less money. I mean, absolutely ridiculous. I don't know how this man can get away with it at all. And why are you taking action today? Uh, we'll say it's a gold plate at Cranston, it's an absolute fallacy, I'm just trying to protect my pension for more rights. Save our pensions. Save our pensions for NHS. Safeguard the pensions for the young ones in the future. Well, like myself, I've got my pension. But the young ones coming up, they've got to deserve their pension as well. These Tories, millionaires, they don't care about us. Uh, what would your message be to Mr Cameron and Clegg and Osborne today? I would say... Look after the people who's looking after you basically, we're here, they serve a, a purpose. We're all singing for the same hymn sheet and obviously they're not. Their pensions are protected and theirs aren't. Everybody should be gold plated. Everybody should have a pension. The men at the top have got their big pensions, they've got their big salaries. We can't afford big pensions, they can. They've got big pensions. I want to ask some day some. The bankers are to blame for this, no, no. The man in the street. No, the man in the streets to blame the bankers. Davy, come out here, work with me for two or three days in the cold and the frost and the rain. See if we're worth it, worth it then. We're worth more money. Tories or no. Trade union members across here, sir. Let's stick to our fight going forward. Let's take on this government. Let's look at them as what they really are. People who will take away your terms and conditions, cut your jobs, take away your livelihoods and destroy your pension.